वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सॉल्व सेवंथ प्रॉब्लम ऑन मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्जिया लेट अस स्टार्ट द लेक्चर सो वी आर गिवन वन कंपोजिट एरिया एंड वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्जिया ऑफ दिस कंपोजिट एरिया अबाउट सेंट्रोडल एक्सिस एंड वी आर शोन एक्स एक्सिस व्हिच इज पासिंग थ्रू द सेंट्रोइड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपोजिट एरिया and we have to find moment of inertia about this axis which is centroidal axis in x direction and we are given all the dimensions of this composite area and uh, the position of centroidal axis is also shown it is at 129.14 mm from the base of this composite area now in this case we have to find uh, ix so let us see how we can find ix so very first step is we have to divide this composite area into regular areas now you can see uh, this composite area is made up of two regular areas we can say that this particular circular portion is a hollow portion and it is removed from this rectangular portion so that will give us this composite area so we can say this composite area is consisting of two regular areas we can consider first regular area as the complete rectangle and then we will consider second regular area as a circle so we will subtract this circular area from the main area which is a rectangular area then only we will get this composite area so the very first step is whatever composite area we are given we have to divide that composite area into regular areas in order to solve the problem and for this particular composite area we concluded that we have to consider two regular areas one is this complete rectangular area second is this circular area and we have to subtract this circular area from the main area which is rectangular area to get this composite area okay it means our equation will become ix is equal to ix1 minus ix2 where ix is the moment of inertia of this composite area about the centroidal axis and that is equal to uh, ix1 minus ix2 where ix1 is the moment of inertia of area 1 that is this rectangular area about the centroidal axis and uh, ix2 is the moment of inertia of area 2 about the same centroidal axis it means in order to get ix we have to first find ix1 so let us see uh, how we can find ix1 we know ix1 is related to the regular area 1 that is this complete rectangular area so the first calculation will be related to its area and we know it is a rectangular area so its area a1 will be equal to its length into width so we are given its length as 200 mm and uh, its width is 300 mm so let us calculate this area uh, by multiplying length into its width so we will get 60000 mm square as the area of this rectangular area that is area number 1 now after that what is the next step the next step is we should locate the centroid of this particular regular area that is rectangular area area 1 and we know its centroid will lie at l by 2 and b by 2 so we are given its length as 200 it means its centroid will lie at l by 2 that means this distance is 100 mm and its centroid will lie at b by 2 so b we are given as 300 so it means this distance from the base is 150 so let me repeat the distances again this is l by 2 that is 100 mm and this is b by 2 that is 150 so that means the centroid of area 1 that is rectangular area will lie exactly in the center so let us label that centroid as g1 and what is the next step from that centroid we will draw its centroidal axis and uh, we will draw that axis parallel to the main axis 
we know the main axis given to us is a horizontal axis so from centroid g1 we have drawn one blue line over here that is representing centroidal axis of the regular area one now what is the next step next step is we find distance between these two axes means between the main axis and the centroidal axis of area one that distance is called as h and it is related to a area 1 so we'll call it as h1 it means next step is calculation of h1 which will help us in the application of parallel axis theorem later on in the solution so let us find h1 so for h1 we first have to see what is the position of centroid g1 from the base and we know it is lying at b by 2 that is 150 so this distance is 150 and we are given the distance of x is also from the bottom and it is given as 129.14 it means uh, h1 this distance distance between these two axes will be 150 minus 129.14 so h1 will be equal to 150 minus 129.14 so this will give us h1 equal to 20.86 millimeters okay so we have found uh, h1 for area 1 now what is the next step next step is we have to find movement of inertia of area 1 about its own centroidal axis and we know for a rectangular area the movement of inertia about its own centroidal axis is given by the formula bd cube by 12 where B is that side of the rectangular area which is parallel to its centroidal axis. Now in this case to this centroidal axis, this side of the rectangular area is parallel. It means we will consider 200 as B and other side will be considered as D in this formula. It means IG1 will become 200 dot 300 cubed by 12. So from here we will get the value of IG1 which is the moment of inertia of area 1 about its own centroidal axis. Now we know once we get these three values then we can find moment of inertia of area 1 about the main axis by the application of parallel axis theorem. So let us apply parallel axis theorem. So from that theorem we will get moment of inertia of area 1 about the main axis xx that is ix1 this will be equal to ig1 plus a1 h1 square now we'll put these values a1 h1 ig1 in this formula and we will get our first answer for this particular equation that is ix1 so what is ix1 it is a area moment of inertia of area 1 about the main axis okay now the next step in the uh, solution will be the calculation of ix2 so let us find ix2 now. Now what will be the first step under this ix2? The first step will be we have to find area of the second regular area. Now we know that second regular area is a circular area. So its area a2 will be equal to pi r square. So let us see what is the value of r in this particular composite area. Over here we are given diameter of the circle as 150 mm, it means its radius will be 75. So over here we have entered the value of R as 75, so we will get the value of second regular area. That is 17662.5 mm square. Now what is the next step? Next step is we should locate the centroid of second regular area. And we know that second regular area is a circular area, it means its centroid will be the center of that circle. So we have located its centroid. And from that centroid we have to draw one centroidal axis which we have to keep parallel to the mean axis. So you can see over here we have drawn its centroidal axis and we have kept it parallel to the mean axis. Now what is the next step? Next step is we have to find the distance between these two axes that is between the main axis and the centroidal axis of area 2. And we know this distance will be called as h2 and this distance will help us later on in the calculations to apply parallel axis theorem. 
So let us find the value of this H2. Now we know that uh, the center of this circle where the centroid of second regular area that is circular area is lying is at a distance of 100 from top. Now we know total height of this rectangular area is 300. It means the distance of this centroid from bottom is 200 that is 300 minus 100. So this is 200 and we know that the distance of main axis from the base is 129.14. It means distance between these two axes will be equal to 200 minus 129.14. So that will be called as H2, 200 minus 129.14. So we'll get H2 as 70.86 mm. Now after finding the value of H2, the next step is we should find moment of inertia of area 2 about its own centroidal axis. And we know it is a circular area. And for circular area, the value of moment of inertia about its own centroidal axis is given by the formula pi r4 by 4. So this formula you should remember. Now in this case, we know the value of r. r is 75 because diameter is given as 150. So let us put the value of r as 75, then we will get the value of ig2, which is the area moment of inertia of area 2 about its own centroidal axis. Now we know once we get these three values then we can make use of parallel axis theorem to find the area moment of inertia of area 2 about the main axis which is ix2. So from parallel axis theorem we can say ix2 is equal to ig2 plus a2 into h2 square. So let us put these three values in this equation and we will get value of ix2. Now we know that we have calculated both the values in that equation. We calculated ix1 and we calculated ix2. So let us put these two values to get our answer. That is ix. So what is ix? ix is the area moment of inertia of this composite area about the main axis. So I hope the solution of this particular problem is clear to you. Thank you very much.